Today I'm going to show you how to populate these new circuit boards that I got with surface mount components using these masks. So these are, this is a stainless steel stencil laser cut with the pattern that I supplied. This is done at Seed Studio Fusion. So I'm just going to clean these up a bit and start putting them to work. There's the whole pattern for my one, one side of my circuit board and the other side is in here. Now the key to doing the stenciling is to get these pads perfectly lined up with the circuit board. And to do that, my breakaway header here has alignment holes in three places so that it perfectly lines up with the mask uh, when you find the holes. There they are. All the pads line up perfectly. The challenge is you want to find a peg that fits that hole perfectly. So this is a drill bit that I found that absolutely perfectly fits these holes. But unfortunately these ones, it's a little bit too tight to go in. And uh, these are supposed to be non-plated holes, but they came out plated. So I must have done something wrong in my, in my uh, EDA file. But anyway, we'll drill that up to the right size and then we'll have uh, holes that match perfectly. Okay, so I've got these three pegs fit into the circuit board. It's a pretty tight fit and slid the mask over top and it's very, very nice and tight here. So there's a couple things I really love about surface mount. One is you get the solder paste. You only need the smallest amount uh, because you use hardly any of it and you can put it right back in. I like the wide mouth one because you can scoop up the solder paste like this. Simply blade it across the stencil a couple of times. Usually takes a few tries to get all the holes filled. Have a second blade handy so you can scrape off from the first and keep it going. Scrape off the excess. You can kind of check by eye to make sure you got all the holes covered. Doesn't hurt to go over it a couple times to make sure. Okay, well then we can inspect these little uh, blobs of solder here and see how it came out. They look exactly spot on, every single one. It's really quite remarkable. When you have a stencil, things come out really perfectly. There's the smallest VSSOP here. There's another one down here. And each pad is just perfectly laid with uh, solder paste. You can actually see the little tiny solder balls that make up the paste. Now hopefully you've got a good list of where each part goes now because this is where the rubber meets the road. You've got to take out all these little tiny parts and lay them on the circuit board. Well, that took me a lot longer than I thought, about a half hour to put those parts on just the bottom side of the circuit board. Now it's time to bake them. Today we've got this awesome oven from Wizoo for doing the uh, surface mount. It is a glorified toaster oven, but it's very glorified. Uh, this is a PID controller, the Control Leo 3. Uh, there's a servo motor here that automatically opens the door. The inside of this oven is all decked out with thermal tape, thermal, extra thermal insulation, and extra heater. Uh, thermal controls are all in this thing. And it is a fantastic oven and quite expensive too. Uh, it can be purchased from wizoo.com. 
W-H-I-Z-O-O. And what I'm going to do here is carefully, very carefully, transfer my circuit board, which is ready for one side, right in here. Close the panel. Plug it in. And plug it in. This oven is incredibly easy to use. I'm just going to go to profiles. I have leaded paste, so I'm going to run the leaded paste profile. And I hit run profile, and it starts. And I go ahead and transfer this to my giant heat sink here help it cool down. It doesn't need to stay hot at this point. The board is done. Uh, quick visual inspection. It looks fantastic. As sloppy as those joints were, uh, as sloppy as putting those parts on were, everything looks just perfect on here. We're going to go ahead and inspect it now on the microscope. monumental amount of effort but got all the parts on and it is ready for the oven okay since there's parts on the bottom side I spaced them off with little pieces of copper there we're gonna push this in and run the exact same profile we ran the first time Boom, so easy Freshly cooked circuits right out of the oven. Let's put them under the microscope and see if everything came out right. Thank you.